So why do I have to delete the default cube, even if I have to create a new cube from a project immediately afterwards? This is the one question that has remained unanswered to this day. So today we go straight to the source, to there where everything begins and ends. If we break the sacred law and don't delete the default cube, then the punishment will hit us hard. The render times will be too long, the results will be unusable, crazy geometry will be created, millions of polygons in the simplest models, the colors will bleed out, the color spaces will be wrong. And will be the depth of field. But why is that? The answer lies deep in your computer. So let's look there. Our journey of exploration takes us through the jungle of hardware, through the deserts of diodes and microchips, to the place where the life of the system is itself resides. Go to your file browser and find the place where a blend file is stored. Search and you will find. Oh, by the way, this is not my computer. Now let us enter the holy halls to visit him, the most holy one himself. Trust him even in the fog of ignorance. And now that he reveals himself, ask him, Oh my cube, why do I have to delete the default cube? You shall not love any other cube but me. Okay, that's the answer, but what would you do, O oh cube, if I disobeyed? to think of it? Curse your work! And that's why we prefer to delete the default cube.